Hello beautiful friends! As you can see by the title, I am doing my first ever makeup tutorial and it got quite long. Hopefully I can do better next time. But I did want to mention to you that all the products I use come from Lemongrass Spa, a clean and healthy skincare, makeup and hair care company. A couple years ago, I had been searching for clean products and I found lemongrass and have fallen in love with the products. I will link every product I use down below for you and my link where you can check out any product you want. Also, if you have been using and loving them, there is a way to get 25% off your products by joining the company. And the way to join is simply by hitting the join button on my link and all you will need to do is spend $25 a month or $50 every other month to stay joined, which is so doable. The reason I'm taking time to tell you this is when you join, you usually have to buy a product kit. And in the month of April, you will get 20% off of the spa party kit and the sheer minerals kit, which is an awesome deal. So I just wanted to mention it in case any of you are wanting to fully switch over to all natural products. Okay, let's get on with the makeup video. Welcome to a makeup tutorial. This is the very first ever makeup tutorial that I am doing. And it's a little bit nerve wracking because I know that I am not professional. I'm gonna say that right away. I'm not professional and um, I just know what I like. And I'm sure I don't put the makeup on uh, in the correct order even then Maybe you should, but hey, if the end result looks good, then it doesn't really matter, does it? So who, who sets the rules anyways? Because um, you do you, what you feel looks the best. So uh, yeah, let's get started. I am not sure how I'll do, but I'm gonna try my best. By the way, I, I don't know if this is a very good setup. I'm here up in my guest bedroom and there was literally no place in the house where I could video. You know, I can't do it in my bathroom. I have to do it on the side. So I'm up here in my guest bedroom and I'll give you like a behind the scenes picture maybe where you can see how, it, how I set it up. But yeah, I have this mirror down here that has some lights around it so that'll help. And, but I'm not sure about the lighting for you guys. And by the way, you can easily tell I'm not wearing any makeup. I have lots of freckles and moles. So before I start, the biggest thing you want to do before you put on your makeup is cleanse your face and hydrate your face. By the way, all that I use, all my products are completely natural and clean. I feel like I've just found the products that I am, that I totally love and that I'll stick with. Okay, let's get started. And this makeup look will be more of a going out look. Now, it's still not gonna be like over the top. <laughs> uh, I like to keep my makeup beautiful. You know, everybody wants it beautiful, right? Um, but still not like, it looks like I'm just covered in makeup, like I'm just caked with makeup and like there is no flaw on me. It's just like a, um, like a layer of makeup on. I don't like that. I like if you can actually see through a little bit, you know, just um, more of a natural look. But this will be more of a, a little bit more of a going out look. I'll have a little bit darker eyeshadow and um, at home, just everyday look, I have a little bit of a simpler routine and I can do that later for you guys too, but I'll show you each thing that I use. Ah, so let's get started because this might be a little long. First of all, I'm gonna get you guys up a little bit closer so that you can really get close to my skin. Scary, right? <laughs> Let's see if that works. That's pretty good. Okay. 
First off, after you have cleansed and lotioned your face, you want to put on a primer. Now, some people, if they put on quite a bit of serum or lotion, then they don't even use a primer, but I just always like to do that, so, because it just helps it all go on smoothly. So this is the primer that they have, and I am using this one. So I just squirt some on my hand like that, and I just use my fingers and just rub it all over my face. And I have a mirror down here, so I'll be looking down here in my mirror a lot. Always remember to go down your neck and you want to blend in, blend it all in like that. The key with, with a flawless makeup look is blend, blend, blend. Do a lot of blending. Okay, I'm almost out of this, but I do have another one. I am using the liquid foundation in the color Maple. It's a little bit of a darker shade. It's a neutral shade. For those of you do, who don't know, again, I'm just putting on something like that. And if I think I need more, I'll take more. And um, then I use this Kabuki. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna say it wrong. And this really gives it a full coverage, like a fuller coverage, not quite as sheer. Um, <clears throat> and I just really like using this. You can use it for the powder foundation or for the liquid foundation. And so one thing about this company, they do not give out uh, makeup samples or like foundation samples. So that um, I wish they would and maybe they will sometime. Hopefully they will sometime. Um, but one good thing is if you know your skin tone, now there's only really three types of skin tone, and that, that's um, cool skin tone, warm skin tone, or neutral skin tone. So, and I go down my neck because you wanna blend it down into your neck so that your neck isn't a different color from your face. My lips look so white. <laughs> I think, you know, this is my summer shade, and I think it is a little bit dark for my winter skin, but it works. And if you do have a lighter shade, sometimes it, too light for your skin, mix it in with your darker shade in the winter time and it, it's a better shade for you for the winter time. Okay, I blended this, blended my foundation, which was maple, in the color maple. And next, I have this Flawless Color Concealer. And I go, I use this around my eyes I just dab a little bit. It just lightens up my eyes and any like dark circles. <laughs> oh, I hope you have fun watching me look funny. Okay. Um, and usually for my around my eyes, eyelids and underneath my eyes, I use this sponge and you want to make sure that it's damp, like not sopping wet, but just damp. It just, it just blends it a lot better. And this is also more of a sheer coverage. If you use this for your foundation, it, it puts it on a little bit more sheer. But I really like this for around my eyes. I literally just go in and just dab it right in around there and it just slightly lightens up the eye area. And it also makes it um, ready to put on the eyeshadow. Like the eyeshadow stays on a little bit better if you do that. And this, uh, color concealer is very good for like covering up your like red spots, pimple areas, help cover that up. So like here I have a little pimple, so I just dab that on there and I always have a little red spot right here on my chin. And sometimes I try to cover that up a little bit. And so just any place you need some covering. So, I'm looking a little bit like a ghost. Okay, next. But once it all comes together, it'll look pretty good, hopefully. All right, um, and next I'm going to work on, on my eyes. I'm going to use the color, like I love their uh, eyeshadow trios where they have like uh, three different colors of eyeshadow. Now they have just single colors that you can order, 
but I love these and I have there's three different kinds there is there is this um, Northern Lights. This is probably what I'm using. It's like a smoky. I've really used it a lot. You can tell it's like a smoky blue color like a Yeah, like a grayish blue color and then there is this um, Cocoa confection And I think this really looks good with like blue eyes or green eyes for some reason I think um, but I still use it on me some but I often mix this with um, let's see if I can if I have it here I'm really bad with pronouncing stuff right so just excuse me if I don't say it right um, but this is the yes this is like a dark brown and I use this a lot I use this a lot on me it's just kind of more of a neutral color and it just blends in um, but I'm gonna use my northern light this morning yeah for you guys later this afternoon I'm going out for a while to town so I thought a good time to actually um, show you how I do my makeup okay I'm talking too much <laughs> Let's keep going. And here is my um, eyeshadow brush, and it has a little fluffy brush on this end, and then there's like just a smaller, thinner brush on the end here. And you can get this on the Lemongrass site on my link down below if you want. I use this all the time, and I'm sorry I didn't even wash my brushes out, so they're not necessarily clean. Okay, what I use first is this lighter medium shade right there. If you can tell lighter medium shade and I use it on the outer corners now I'm gonna look down because I have to see use it mostly on the outer corners of my eye and now I'm t my eyes are deep set I have like these big brow bones so what I do I always go up above like go on my brow bone now if you have big eyes with barely any brow bone you probably don't want to go that you don't want to go way up there you just want to stay on your lid because most of your eye is lid but uh, most of my eye is a big brow bone here so I just go in on either end and go up into my brow bone but I keep staying in the corner kind of and then I go in just a little bit bring the rest of it in this is the medium shade you can tell a little bit of a difference but not much okay so next you will go in with your dark shade dark shade just go in like that a little bit and then you really stay on the corner and just blend there for a while just in little circular motions kind of upwards go upwards everything in your makeup should should go upwards that gives the illusion that your skin is still tight and it makes it look like your skin skin is going upwards and not sagging down okay see this is giving it a lot more color as you can tell and blend 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 after I blended the outer corner I go in a little bit and just kind of blend it all over again like that so you can tell my if you can see there if I open my eye. Now I'm going to quickly do the other eye. Okay, so I got both of my eyes, the dark, darker shades done, and I just feel like the lighting isn't the greatest, but hopefully it'll work. Um, and then I use the very light shade and just dab on there for a little bit with the other end of my uh, brush here and then I start right in the center of my eye on the bottom lid center of my eye and go inwards go inwards you just want a little pop of, of lightness in there then I'll do the other side okay I don't know how well you can see that but there is a little bit of shimmer the very light powder has a little bit of shimmer so um, my eyes are basically done up here but what I have to do next is I want to line them a little bit 
and one thing they don't have is an eyeliner and I would love hopefully they come out with a natural eyeliner because I would just love that if I'm really dressing up or really like going out on a date sometimes I will just use a regular liquid eyeliner on the top of my eyes just to give some extra but um, I don't like to use it because I know it's not natural but I will use it once in a while but I'm not gonna use it right now I'm just gonna show you how I often kind of halfway line my eyes here is their eyeliner brush it's um, a little bit slanted and what I do literally is just go on my dab my finger with my tongue to get it a little wet I know it's gross to some of you but it's not to me it's my own stuff <laughs> so and then I go in the darkest shade again and if you make the brush just slightly damp it the color gets a little darker so what I do now is just go on the outer just like the outer corners of my eye underneath and just go upwards to where my eyeshadow is upwards like that and I dab again and then I just go on the bottom part of my lid and bottom part of my upper lid and just go halfway like a quarter way up or in my lid I don't go all, all the way I just like to do the corners of my eye because that it it kind of it makes my eye go like smaller and a little bit upwards out on this side I keep it light I don't put any eyeliner on and that it makes the eye bigger and then as you go go this way it becomes smaller okay I'm gonna do the other end okay my eyes are somewhat ready for the mascara but again after I have lined it a little bit you know I have lines going up I just blend them in just a little bit better on this with the brush it, it never ever hurts to blend never hurts to just take the brush don't be afraid to take your brush and start blending don't be afraid to mix and match colors uh, just be daring don't be afraid because that's where the fun actually begins just try stuff if you don't like it you can wash it off again I'm gonna put my mascara on last so next let's go to the brows and now that the brows are my hard part I always I almost never feel like I do a, a good job on my brows but I try so what I use is they have a brow pomade the little lid thing is coming off but it is in dark they have like a medium color and a dark shade and I use the dark shade and I wish I'd have some really fluffy brows but I do not they're pretty thin but if I fill them in pretty good it looks a little better and there's always one brow that looks better than the other but I have this brow um, brush and with a like a little brush on the other end so I just go in here and I just grab a little bit of um, pomade at the end of my brush so what you do is start right underneath your brow here and you start like a I, I'm starting like a quarter of the way in underneath right along the brow line there underneath and just go hit your brush just go on down the brow like that now you can see that mark there and then I just bring in line right in here okay so you see I've got it a little bit lined underneath now what I do is just take the the rest of what is on my brush and just kind of brush upwards and fill it in the front of your brow you don't want to look as you know thick because it is a little bit more sparse sometimes at the front of your brow you know so and if you need any more you just dip in and you just I kind of go on the top of my brow and just go along my brow line and just fill it in with this pomade and it's really good this pomade just really stays all day it's like I don't know if it's waterproof but it, it really stays I have no problem with it coming off
then I always brush it a little bit so it's looking looking okay there we go now I'm gonna do the other side and do it just exactly same starting about uh, a quarter of the way underneath and just make a line and then take the excess and just make another little line here in front and go up so I'm gonna do that hopefully fast forward it a little and get her done not perfect but it's okay so I just think if you get your brows right it just does so much for your makeup look next what really helps your makeup look too is to go in and contour just a little bit with bronzer and blush so the blush I'm using today actually let's go with the bronzer first the bronzer I always use is the caramel matte color caramel matte and I think it's a little darker shade and what I do is get some on my lid just some powdery because these are real minerals and as you blend it a little bit they they get like a little bit of a darker shade or they the shade becomes true so what you want to do is always blend some on your brush before you put it on your um, cheeks so this is the bronzer so I'm just gonna blend, blend a little, some of it. And then, and oh, this is the, like the bronzing brush that you can get. And I use this for my, for my blush and the bronzer because everything blends anyway. And I like the shape of it. It works just great. Okay, now what you wanna do is Go right underneath your cheekbones, like just underneath your cheekbones and maybe about um, a quarter of the way in from your eyes or almost half. But, and then just go slightly upwards. Just brush in there. And it just uh, accents your cheekbones, brings them out more because there's like a little shadow there. And then I just go on up over my the edges of my face and up front. It's like I make a three, like the shape of a three. And go underneath my jawbone and just kind of brush the rest of it off here and here. You can't even tell, but it's just all in the blending process. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. It's, I hope you can even tell the difference. I don't know if you can even see on here. Oh. Then what I often do is just go underneath my nose, just hit my nose there a little bit. And, and then I even take my eyeshadow brush and just dip it in this bronzer a little bit. And and then just go a little bit down my nose. I, I think my nose is pointy enough, but I don't know. I just do it for good measure. And just brush it out a little. Okay, next I will use uh, the hibiscus blush. It is in the color hibiscus. They have a ton of blush colors and Sometimes, often for every day, I will use the coral. It's more of a peachy, warm color. And I even use it on my eyelids. Like, I, I just don't use as much when for every day. But then, yeah, this hibiscus is what I'm using for my blush. Again, just put some on your lid. I am almost out of this. I actually ordered another one. These last a long time. I'm amazed at how long they last. Then I just rub it on my lid blend 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 if you don't hear anything else get that just blend okay now you start like on the side of your cheek of your like your the balls of your cheek and just just spread it in there and go kind of upwards always always bring your makeup slightly upwards 
and just blend it in. And again, I just go up and around a little bit with it. Just blend it all in. Now I'll do the other side. Okay, next I will be using the Sheer Minerals Mascara. And um, they're supposed to, it says Sheer Volume Mascara. They have two different kinds. They also have just the regular and it's, they have like an organic kind here too, but it's not like, it's not the volume one. So I got this one also to use. And what I do for, I don't know if it really works, but I often use this little uh, eyelash curler. So let's see if we can do that. Just go in and grab my eyelashes and just hold them a little bit. Sometimes like press them a little. And I think it makes them go up for a little bit, but then they just come back down. But I do it anyways. Now, let's go on with the mascara. And I always pump it a little bit, bring it out, take the ends of it off, and I kind of start in the bottom of my eyelashes and kind of brush up, brush up just lightly. And then while that just halfway dries, I go to the other side. I'm always making faces when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, and I'm just doing the upper one, upper lashes. Giving them each three coats. Okay, so I got the upper lashes done. And now I'm just going to go in and just hit my bottom lashes just lightly. Okay, that is all done. I'm looking a little better, except for my lips are really pale. I've always had kind of pale lips, but I still am not much of a uh, lipstick girl. But what I'm gonna use right now is, um, I'm going to use their lipstick in Bare, which it just really gives it a natural, neutral look. And then after that, I'm going to put on like a lip gloss to make it a little bit shiny. You can see the bottom part is a little bit darker than the top part. And I just love it, knowing that I am using all natural products. I mean, think about how many women eat their lipstick all, all day and there's like heavy metals and just bad stuff in that lipstick and this stuff is clean. So if I eat it off when I'm eating something, hey, no big deal. So. Um, I have actually three of their lip glosses. I want to get their, their lip gloss that is clear just to go over stuff, but I have this, um, is this called Pucker? Yeah, this is the Pucker. It's like a kind of a nice pink lip gloss. And then this one is Charmed, and I use this all the time. I keep this on hand because it's more of a neutral color again. And I often, if I want to tone down this color or this color, which is velvet yeah if I want to tone this down I will go over with charmed so again do not be afraid to mix and match your colors because uh, you can sometimes create some amazing colors just by mixing and matching colors that you know maybe normal people wouldn't they just go by the rules just use this one thing just just mix and match so I'm just going to use this charmed uh, lip gloss over this just to give it a little more color Okay, that was plenty 
<laughs> okay, wow. Last but not least, I actually forgot to tell you that I always spray my face with a set and refresh spray. So I just spray that on and it just sets my face and it gives it this dewy uh, look and it smells so good. Okay, that is all. I'm gonna go outside and show you a little bit, give you a better look uh, where the light is better. So let's go. Okay guys, I came outside and if you hear dogs barking, it's because we have dogs and there's a chainsaw going down the hill from us. So uh, just wanted to tell you that, but I just wanted you to see it more in the natural light. So this is how I'm looking. And again, I'm not trying to cover my whole face, you know, and cover every imperfection. That's not what I do. I want to stay natural yet just enhance my face. So spring, you're okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, my first makeup tutorial, and I hope it gave you some tips and some ideas. Uh, again, just blend and don't be afraid to blend colors and try new things. Thank you so much for watching and I would love if you would subscribe because I will be doing more of these. I will um, maybe just do my everyday look where it's a little bit less, not as much eyeshadow and stuff. And yeah, even my skincare, what I use for skincare, how I do it and just a bunch of stuff that I want to bring to this channel, just girly things and even fashion, what I call heavenly fashion, because heavenly fashion, you know, is timeless. Okay, I think I am all done talking, so we will see you all next time.